All right, here we are late in the day in a beautiful Medford, Oregon day. We've been dodging raindrops all day long, handling about two or three cars from a collection here. The owner's just thinning down just a little bit. Uh, very nice. Uh, the owner calls it copper top. Uh, I'd say it's very subtle and elegant. It's a 1939 Ford two-door deluxe business coupe. Just a beautiful car. Finished in a copper top side and a champagne bottom. Nice powertrain in it. We're going to step out of the street just a little bit here so I don't get run over and kind of keep talking. Right in the middle of the street here. Anyway, nicely done. Uh, nicely finished. Just a few subtle mod modifications to it. A resto rod. I don't know if I said resto mod just a minute ago. It's been a long day. Four cars today. But uh, very nicely done. They left all the factory side trim on it. This was a really nice body before the owner started doing the restoration. Um, it's an all steel 39 Ford body. Beautifully done. The finish on it is very professional. A couple little modifications on it we'll point out as we go around here. The windshield has been V-butted instead of having the big strip down the middle which is nice. They also filled the cal vent because the air conditioning gets in the way anyway. It does have air conditioning. It has an updated front suspension in it. Ford Mustang 2 with power steering. It has a uh, Parallel leaf springs in the back with a Ford 8 inch, but underneath the hood here is a 350 Chevy V8. Nicely dressed, very again subtle and elegant underneath the hood. Turbo 400 automatic transmission, so it's got a lot of the goodies. We get inside as it has more goodies too, but as we walk around here we just want to cover. 39, um, this stainless trim is just beautiful on these cars. In 39 they would have had two pieces. There would have been another piece down here, but he, he left the one piece off just to kind of flow his ghost flames, his copper ghost flames into the champagne there. The headlights have been darkened just a little bit with a little bit of color just to give it that vintage feel underneath uh, on the front end here. The grill's just beautiful, the bright work, the fit of the hood's very nice. The bumpers and all the trim on the car from what the owner knows is all original to the car and of course it's been plated or polished, that type of thing. But you'll kind of get a feel for the quality of the finish. 39 is just a beautiful body style. You gotta love the headlights on the front of one of these. As we go around here, it has a really nice look with these uh, definitely not cheap uh, Amer uh, chrome American torque thrust. You'll see a lot of them with polish and stuff, but the chrome ones allow it to be, they just have a better look and they're easier to clean. Disc brakes up front like you would expect, power disc brakes on it, drum brakes in the rear. Very nice body and paint on this car, if I haven't said it already, and I know I have. You gotta love how the peak line flows over the top of the roof here. You really don't catch it on some other colors. You know, there's a lot of black coupes out there and and uh, different colored coupes, but you really, seeing a combo like this, is just elegant. It's not like everybody else's, which makes it kinda, kinda fun and unique. Door handles fit nice. Very fresh style restoration. It has only 2,500 miles on it. Uh, finished up a few years ago, but uh, he doesn't drive it as much as he does his other cars. The ones he calls his his drivers, this car is the one you can drive too because it's got a lot of nice features, air conditioning, heat, has power windows. We're gonna walk up here. A little bit of traffic at the end of the day here. I'm gonna hit the road back to Arizona very nice high-end leather uh, interior in it it has these uh, these are I believe Honda bucket seats in it which are really nice they they're nice and comfy but a very high-end grade leather here you can see how supple it is nice high-end loop style carpet emergency brake low car style shifter these are 15 degree uh, power windows in other words they only we're gonna put it up for you here. They only move, the handle moves 15 degrees, but it looks stock. Put it down there, tinted glass on it. Late in the day here, we wanted to uh, get this car done last. Lighting's important. You'll see it has uh, speakers here. There's a uh, Kenwood Audio with remote. Here's the remote right here. It's between the seats here. We'll have a picture of it at Spud's Garage. Nice seat tracks. AC vents are underneath the dash. Business Coupe has a package shelf back here, so there's some extra storage in the back. 
trunks are very large on these cars so there's plenty of room for a nice rod run see how the two-tone flows all the way into the door jams here nice body just barely my thumb there all steel like we talked about the fenders are just beautiful on this car step back for you to take a better look at it I know we're going into the light but uh, kind of gives you a feel of it copper top two-tone combinations really nice you just don't see cars done like that and this has got a nice feel to it a lot of fun cars out of this collection Scotty's got some pretty nice iron. He's a longtime client and a very good friend. Wife says you got to thin down, Scotty. So he's thinning down. This is uh, one of his pride and joys. A lot of time spent on this car. The rear deck lid itself has also been uh, the handle and bright work's been shaved off the back here. Nice meg tips on the exhaust down here. Again, these bumpers, as far as he know, are the original iron. They've all been replated. Fuel door has been, uh, it's had a fuel door added. A little pop up magnetic here. Step back and let you take the back look here. Beautiful. Wrapping up here the end of the day. Perfect time to do this car. You kind of get a feel for the fall colors and the beauty of this car. We're going to get you inside here and kind of give you a feel. Again, the power windows, the garnish moldings here have been uh, wrapped in leather. The dash is finished body color, the copper top side, tilt steering column. A little Ford insignia in the uh, seat back here. Seat belts for driver and passenger, two passenger car. Starts right up again. Chevy 350 V8, air conditioning, heat, power windows, classic instruments, got a nice feel to it, 2,514 miles on it since it was built. LED indicators on the dash for the turn signals and the high beam. Vintage air conditioning controls are down here. Again, emergency brake. I'm thinking by now you get the idea. It's a great looking car. They also wrapped the uh, windshield garnish molding here with the uh, leather. Good, nice, uh, subtle elegance. Sun shining now, a little bit, kind of give you the brightness of it. Or put it in the light, so to speak. There you go. Hey, hang on to the end of the video. Go to spudsgarage.com. Alright, as always, my favorite part is getting underneath the hood. This car is just elegant all the way through. It's very subtle underneath the hood. It has a uh, Chevy 350 V8. Nicely done, nicely detailed. Everything's finished in a nice matte black, including the uh, intake manifold, which is aluminum. It's uh, Edelbrock aluminum intake manifold. has uh, fin style valve covers that are kind of period resto rod kind of a feel to it. This Cadillac air filter, three-quarter size billet version of it is really cool. I, I don't think I've seen one of those before. Uh, Walker radiator, aluminum radiator on it with a cooling components, electric cooling fan, very efficient. Has a front runner style belt system on it. This is a power steering pump right here for the rack and pinion power steering on it. Ram horn style exhaust manifolds which are cool because you don't have to mess with header gaskets or anything like that. It just makes this car just a great kind of car to uh, easy to work on and uh, very drivable that way. Has the uh, vented fender aprons here which draw air out and takes the air out of the engine compartment here on both sides. AC 134A which is modern vintage air so it takes the modern AC stuff, juice so to speak. Has uh, the lines feed nice along here and then uh, go into the car for the AC and heat, so it has both. 
bottom side of the hood here is really cool because it's finished same quality as the outside of the car but he spent a lot of little time on the little details like putting little rubber gaps on the threads here on the exposed threads of the trim that would have typically been you could have just seen the threads so you could tell he wanted it nicely detailed show wise see the engine in the bottom of the hood there firewalls very nice nothing hanging off of it electronic ignition on it it has a turbo 400 automatic transmission has a ford 8 inch rear differential we're thinking you get the idea we actually just a minute we'll have this thing fired up for you and uh, let you hear it run sit here and idle and there you go very nice especially like that uh, caddy billet air filter cover the trunk here finished off nicely with panels on the back here all covered in uh, matching uh, color material has a little dome light or light back here the tool wells are still back yet that here I'm not gonna pull them out it's a solid car nice uh, high-end loop carpet in the back here I like what they did with the deck lid it's got a quality paint finish that matches the outside the copper top color um, but they also filled these, which most guys won't take the time to do that. It's got a nice vintage look to it. Great looking car. Anyway, there you go. This in this bag here is a full nose bra color. It protects the hood and it protects the front of the car. And it's included with the car. This show board is also included with the car. Car body and paint was done by Classic Creations in Grant Pass, Oregon. Jerry's upholstery. The frame and suspension was by Orm and Orb LG and Ray Brown of Bend, Oregon. 350 Chevy, 400 turbo, 8 inch Ford rear end. Alright, we're going to do the undercarriage here for you and cover very nice uh, body off restoration style. Chassis has been modified and uh, upgraded with uh, parallel leaf springs in the back. Sent to a professional shop to do it. They actually drove it up on a trailer before it had a body on it, which was kind of cool when they had the chassis and engine and stuff in it. He was telling me that story. Dual exhaust with meg tips out the back here. We'll have more specs on the chassis fabrication, that kind of stuff at spudsgarage.com. Uh, Ford 8 inch rear differential. Has uh, polished American, or excuse me, chrome American torque thrust with drum brakes in the rear, power drum, power disc up front. As we go around, make sure you catch the body. I actually got down my back. I've been running all day long. There's the Ford 8 inch. The chassis's all been completely finished and nicely done. The exhaust is nice, hung up tight there. It has power brakes like we talked about. Get up around here, you can see the paint as we go around. Very, very nice. It's hard to get all the light we need here, but uh, Mustang 2 front suspension, engineered cross member in it. I like these uh, chrome American torque thrust on here. Those are not a cheap date. They look great, they're easy to keep clean. Look period correct on this car. Stabilizer bar, Mustang 2 front suspension with coil over, engineered cross member. You gotta love these 39 grills. Beautiful. A little bit of baby bump on the chin here. Pretty typical. Car has 2,500 miles on it. You just go slow into driveways. Disc brakes on the front. See there, level of detail, a lot of time was spent putting this car together. Several years for the gentleman. We're handling a few cars out of the collection here. See the chassis, how it's finished there. Power brakes, right there's the power brake booster. Disc brakes up front. Turbo 400 automatic. A lot of love. Beautiful car. Anyway, make sure you go to spudsgarage.com. You're at the end of the video, or pretty close. There's dual mufflers, dual exhaust. Have a great day. Thanks for listening to me. All right, taking it back to his garage.
Good to be going to your garage. Make sure you go to Spud's garage. Have a great day.